Hello and welcome. It is great to have you here. I am Chrissy. This is my channel, Chrissy Love, where I review perfumes. And this is my flash review of the new 2021 release of Marc Jacobs' Perfect Intense. So this is a flanker to the original Perfect, which was launched in 2020. And it's the one with the really cute bottle with all the charms on it. Yeah, love it. I like the messaging too, that every lady is perfect. Every little, you know, kind of like to me speaks to little girls, like every little girl is perfect and you're great just the way you are. And this perfume is for you. And I have no issue with that. I think it's really fun. And I can't talk about the flanker without first kind of talking about the original. So the original Eau de Parfum is a, to me, a very linear scent. It is like a strawberry lollipop, strawberry soda, very effervescent. Scent. It's sweet like candy. It doesn't have a lot of depth, but it's very fruity and girly and obvious and fun. So I'll tell you what the notes are in that one. So the top notes are rhubarb and narcissus. The middle note is almond milk and the base notes are cashmere and cedar. And yeah, it, the, the longevity and projection is pretty good. Like it lasts throughout the day. Uh, it, it's really nice. It is fruity, fun. It's not more than it has to be. And I really do enjoy it. But the intense is where things get amped up and I'm really excited about it. So in their description they say, an unabashedly bold twist to the original. An explosion of vibrant daffodil and golden roasted almonds meets opulent night blooming jasmine and velvety sandalwood. Celebrate the intoxicating clash of the unexpected. Perfect just like you. And the almond does really shine in this. Oh, I'm so excited about this one. So the top notes on this are Narcissus and Night Blooming Jasmine. The middle note is Almond and the base note is Sandalwood. So not much more complex, but the notes are a little bit deeper and I think like a richer quality of fragrance. So when I first spray this, I'm getting really strong almonds. It's really ambery and smooth, still very sweet. And the dry down on my skin, it turns into roasted almonds with a bit of that original Eau de Parfum fruitiness, that like sweet candy, strawberry fruitiness. And I say strawberry because that's what I get. It's not actually the notes, but that's what I get. <laughs> um, but the problem with it is on my skin, it kind of turns out being kind of synthetic, kind of poorly blended. It kind of feels like the notes really don't belong together. That fruitiness with the almonds is a really actually odd combination. And in the deep, deep dry down, so after a few hours of wear, I get the sweet nuttiness with that hint of fruit. So it becomes a little less disjointed it becomes bearable. Now I'm not really a nut lover when it comes to my perfumes. Eventually that note always gets on my nerves. This is a really smooth, creamy almond though. It is delectable. It is dessert-like, gourmand. So adding the nuttiness to that sweet effervescence of like, you know, fruitiness from the original is a really good idea. It does not make it though a much more mature to be honest it doesn't like turn it into like oh this is the adult version or like the grown version not really it's still very gourmand almost marzipan like but also the performance in this is good it's not better than the original it's the same it still lasts all day and projects really well but it's not like a beast mode perfume either um yeah so this is one that i do recommend checking out for yourself because this kind of perfume is just so subjective. Like some people like that candy fruitiness and some people don't. Um, I think the combination is a unique take. I like the idea of it, but unfortunately it's just not a real winner for me, but it is fun. And so that is my flash review of Marc Jacobs Perfect Intense. Thanks for being here. Hope you have a very beautiful day.